What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So you guys know I'm a fan of Spider-Man. You've seen me running around in my PS4 Spider-Man suit. Well, you have got to thinking, one Spider-Man suit is not enough for someone like me. So I had to get another one. Hopefully it fits because when I tried the other one on, it was actually too tight because I sized it while I was in the midst of kind of bulking and it ended up be being too small and I had to have a friend who was a seamstress who actually made my Power Rangers Dino Charge suit for me. Um, she had to add like gussets and arms so I could get into the suit. I made this one bigger on purpose, so hopefully it fits without needing adjustments because that's a pain in the butt. So this suit is from RPC Studios. They make amazing quality Spider-Man suits. They actually have some other uh, Marvel suits as well, but the Spider-Man one's by far my favorite that they make that I've seen. Um, to be fair, I don't own any of their other ones, so that may not be an accurate statement. <laughs> this goes under the suit. Um, the eyes are magnetic. So the eyes are magnetic. You actually put this on the suit over it, and then this on the outside. And then we have the suit itself. Easily packed. Shoes are built into the bottom, which is nice. Other than when you need to replace them, which I've never had to yet. But it's not like you have to put shoes on over it. You could actually cut off the ankle. Some people do to wear like sneakers with it. Some of the Miles Morales suits in the game, he actually wears those shoes, which I tried to reserve and they sold off in like two seconds. But uh, these have shoes built in and they're actually pretty grippy for flips and acrobatics. All right, cool. Uh, it's been a really long time since I ordered a suit from RPC Studios. So the material feels different right off the bat. It's like 3D paint. I don't know if it actually is, but I feel like it is. What's in this one I got separately though, so I can take it off, which is easier when you go to conventions or something. If you want to eat without having to unzip the whole back, you just take the, the headpiece off. So I'm going to show you how this looks. You know, got to stretch out the material a little bit. So if you get the eye holes to match up. Yes, it is. My hair is getting longer, so this is therefore getting harder. Oh, the zipper did go. Shut up. No, don't help. I don't need it. It's a little off. <laughs> <laughs> ha! My first time putting this on, I don't have a mirror. So uh, you can casually cosplay. You know how like Miles walks around with like a hood on and stuff? You know, in the game, you can do that with this without having the full suit on, which is cool. So as you can tell, this looks amazing. I mean, it feels like, I don't know, the quality has definitely gone up in the years since I got the original PS4 suit. Don't get me wrong, I love the PS4 suit, but I'll grab it in a moment and I'll show you the difference. So let's actually unfold the suit itself. All right, so this is the PS4 Spider-Man suit. As you can see, um, it's just flat material. Like it's, it seems to be 3D printed. Basically, it's just on the material versus the Miles Morales, which actually is raised a bit with the spider symbol. Um, I don't know how long it will last if you wash it or anything. I don't typically wash these anyway. Um, you spray them with vodka and water and that kind of helps kill the smell. It's what we do in the circus anyway with costumes when they get smelly uh, when we can't wash them all the time. But uh, yeah, the material definitely seems to be upgraded for sure. I know they were upgrading the PS4 suit as well, but uh, yeah, I'm loving this suit. This is the face mask that goes with this one. But as I mentioned before, this piece can't be separated on my PS4 one unless I cut it off because um, I had it made differently. So well, let's try, try the suit on, shall we? Here's the suit, what do you guys think? I don't like to brag, but I think I uh, might be slightly too buff <laughs> for this suit. No, nah, it feels good. Um, the first time getting it on though is always the hardest because you got to stretch it out a little bit. Uh, plus because there's more uh, detail with like the 3D printing on it, it doesn't stretch quite as much as this one, which is just straight up, you know, like spandex type material. But the longer I'm wearing it, the more I feel like I'm getting room out of it. I just didn't want to rip it the first time, you know, putting it on because how depressing would that be? But I think this suit is awesome. I can obviously move around in it. Looks pretty good, I think. Here's a full little 360 for you guys. Um, why don't we put the mask on and make it official? All right, so this is the full Miles Morales experience. I'll do another 360. As I mentioned, the neck does uh, come off in this costume. It's not physically attached. So I'm assuming, again, this is just speculation. In the movies though, they probably have both suits, one where it's physically attached to the neck, like my PS4 suit is, uh, just so it looks seamless in like the far away shots. And then when it's going to be a scene where Tom Holland pulls this actually off, um, then they probably have a different suit. But for me, this one comes off. So eventually when conventions happen again and I'm not there signing as Brennan Mejia the Power Ranger, 
I'm there incognito as Miles Morales just walking around. So guys, hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Special thanks to RPC Studios for amazing suits. Check them out if you guys want to get cool cosplays like this. Also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you to my Patreons. Patrons? Patreons? I don't know. Anyway, you guys rock. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll play some Spider-Man in this in my Spider-Man chair when I play Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Master Mejia. Fair